Hello and welcome back to Thoughts from a Cluttered Mind. Let me start this by saying it is roughly 80 degrees in my apartment, so there may be ambient noise of animals and other going-ons around my apartment, and to that I apologize. The AC unit really doesn't work in this back room which I am recording this in. So, now that that is out of the way, I shall also mention the fact that there was no comments in the last video, so there shall be no video of it in this, nor shall I make one in particular to it. And the topic of this video today is going to be the violence in video games and in movies and how people try and spin it that it affects children. So, <clears throat> that being all out of the way, let me start this again by stating I'm not a parent. I am not a, a psychologist either. I am just a regular person, well, my particular viewpoints that I'm regular anyway, and I enjoy games that have violence. I've played the God of War series, Dante's Inferno, um, several shooting games like the Halo series and Call of War, Duty, Call of War, yes, that's a game, Call of Duty series, and I enjoy them. They are fun for me, and I've played games like Fear and all sorts of things of that nature. I've played the gamut of games. And I've also seen multiple movies. Multiple movies with and without violence. So I say that I'm a regular person when it comes to this, being that I have been exposed to these things. The thing that concerns me, though, is people seem to think that being exposed to something ultimately means you are going to commit to that which you are exposed to. And to this, they bring up the point of children that have been exposed to violence in their games and violence in the media that they watch, like movies, and therefore they go and commit acts of violence. This is wrong, and wrong on multiple reasons, but let me at least break it down. It's wrong because ultimately that means that the child witnessing a sports game, any sports, baseball, basketball, football, anything like that, is then exposed to that and exposed to that violence and will be tackling people. Yes, they're impressionable, but kids are not stupid. They understand the difference between what is right and what is wrong. They innately know this because if they didn't, then there'd be no reason why they just don't go around punching and scratching and biting. And mention, yes, when they're younger, they tend to do this. However, you train them and help raise them not to which leads into this other point, that you're not doing your job as a parent then if you're trying to blame these games and movies. Ultimately, it's your fault. You're the one that got that game for them. You're the one that allowed them to play it. You're the one that did not observe it to see if it was too violent in your opinion for your child. And the same goes for that movie. So ultimately, trying to blame the media, the game, the movie, whatever, for something that is just what it is, is not that thing's fault. God of War is a violent game. It has in the very title, War. It's not going to be about fuzzy bunnies and rainbows. So, the very concept that you are sure, let little Timmy play it, or let little Jill play it, and everything will be fine. Sure, everything potentially could be fine. But then if little Timmy or Jill go out and attack someone, you can't blame the game. Yeah, they're impressionable, but the parent is not doing the job of raising them to know the difference between what is fantasy and fiction, between what is real. They're not raising the child. They're expecting the child to try and raise itself, which, as I mentioned, I'm not a parent, I'm not a psychologist, but children do raise themselves a little bit. However, they're very impressionable, and they're trying to gain a direction. They're trying to be exposed to things in order to try and find their lot in life. The parent's job is to make them understand their environment, make them into a better person. And trying to blame a game for the child going around punching people, shooting people, stabbing people, killing people, going around trying to blame a movie for such, makes absolutely no sense. It, that movie is that movie. It's going to be as that. You should not allow your child to see it if you think that it will have an adverse effect. And even if they do see it, and they do do that, you cannot ultimately just blame 
the media that they saw, the video game or movie, because that means it was already in there. They already had that instilled into them before seeing the movie or playing the game. The only thing the game or movie may have done was give them an idea of what to do. And again, the parents fault then again because they gave them the opportunity to see it. So ultimately, violence in video games, movies, anything has nothing to do with a child acting out in a violent manner. They were going to do it already. The only thing that it may have done was given them an idea of what to do. And ultimately, it's the parents' fault for letting them view it or play it. You can't blame the thing itself. It is what it is. A uh, fire will burn. It's what it is, what it does. And you just have to be an actual goddamn parent that doesn't allow your kid to stick their hand in the fire and then throw the fire onto someone else. That's my thoughts about this. Feel free to comment below, and I will get back to your comments and probably make a video about it or at least respond back to you. Thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day. Bye.